students this is dr divya we can we can continue here we are discussing about the economic importance of bryophytes uh, bryophyte so bryophyte uses as a preservative as in so bryophytes have a excellent power to absorb moisture and can act as a good preservative as in say don't they not only uh, help to prevent food but also help to preserve dead body fiber industries so mosses are mixed with wool to make cheap clothes they are used in decoration of networks and other projects so women also wear their stream like structure in their hair and as a decoration in bracelet uses in hiking boards to absorb odor and moisture used in lining of diaper to improve absorbing power used in biotechnology so transgenic fasco militara are now being used to produce blood clotting factor 11 or the treatment of hemophilia b and other protein house construction so these tiny tiny plants are used in the constructions of house and their furnishing at kapoor in the himalayan villages use moss mats with shrub grasses and bamboo to make a furki a kind of door placed at the opening of their temporary huts sphagnum meat peat create and peat wood are the new material uses for making house they are low cost and easy to transport bryophyte as a source of food so bryophyte basically are not directly used as a human food how you were landley made mention sphagnum as a rest food in barbarous countries so bryam and polytriacum constitute the chief diet of the norwegian grouse cheeks diet the capsule of moor inhibiting mosses are bryam and their favorite food of the red grouse cheeks and some english birds such as the field pears shong thrones and blackbird include some mosses as a small part of a their regular diet pollution so pollutants come in a many forms from both urban and rural area sulfur dioxide has been a significant industrial pollutant for many years being a by product of the uses of high sulfur fuel so sulfur dioxide is a very damaging but some bryophytes are highly tolerant of sulfur dioxide pollution example of these are the mosses funaria hygrometrica and bryo argentum bryophytes are as a ornamental plant so bryophytes basically have also been used for greenhouse crop potted ornamental plant and settling in in garden soil bio indicators so basically uh, bio indicators are uh, organisms such as lichen birds and bacteria that are used to monitor the health of the environment and the organism and organism associations are also monitored for changes that may indicate problem with their ecosystem the changes can be chemical physiological or behavior and bio indicators are relevant for ecological health Bryophytes as a pollution indicator so rubbing and trail are showed that both live and air dried mosses particularly sphagnum can absorb metal and the accumulation of heavy metal cations in most enables them to be used as a atmospheric and aquatic pollution indicator in mineralogical survey so bryophytes as a indicator of water pollution the life form of bryophytes is very simple so they are more affected by water pollution than any other plant it is a due to following reason so the plant body is gametophytic soft and delicate and they prefer to grow in moist and shady place the plants lack well developed vascular system comparison of water and xylem and phloem and they lack well developed root system but have rhizoids help in absorbing absorption of water so water is essential for fertilization if water is absorbed if either move from cell to cell if by external capillary spaces thus due to the following reason the polluted water affect the life forms including morphology anatomy fertilization spore germination and physiology some aquatic bryophytes which are pollution tolerant species have been recommended to monitor the level of pollution in water so these are species are like for 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 uh, so basically some aquatic bryophytes which are pollution tolerant species have been recommended to monitor the level of pollution in water these species are 
amylostichum thraiparium cosmopolitan distributions and found is running in stagnant water and sea is rich in nutrient second one is uri high uh, harinicium riparioides found only in the northern region of earth it grow in river and pond of rich in nutrient impen and impen at all the perded pollutants and heavy metal in these waters Fonin tenis antipyrectica, so found only in the northern region of the earth and found in running and stagnant water. Have analyzed copper and lead and the moss. Pande et al. and Sina during a comprehensive study of river Ganga have reported some specific bryophytes which appear on its bank and are affected by wa river water quality. These are Rixia gangetica. So pollution tolerant species, tuberculate, rhizoids, and marginal scales are more developed in highly polluted sites. Rixia fortrici, pollution sensitive species grows in laser polluted sites. Funaria hygrometrica found only those sites where cremations take place and benthic and marginal soil is rich in calcium and phosphorus. Physiocometricum indicum, so it is a moss which absorbs heavy metal. Ponder et al. have reported that bryophytes growing on river bank of Ganga absorb very high level of a heavy metal like chromium, zirconium, and nickel. So bryophytes as an indicator of air pollution. The bryophytes have been reported to be a good indication indicator of air pollution. They are very sensitive to air pollution due to their simple gametophytic body structure. So the air pollutants are mainly of three types in form of gas, in form of particulate matter and microorganism spores, pollens of plants and the bryophytes being very sensitive to gas and particulate matter so are being used to as a bio indicator. So it being reported that our air pollutants affect the habitat and grow form of the bryophytes. Within the last century the Belgium bryo bryoflora have lost uh, 20 species of liver was with nine, 94 species of mosses and the Dutch bryophylora was depleted 15% of terrestrial and 13 of epiphyte. In Amsterdam, 23 species of bryophytes are now extinct from the city. The sensitivity of bryophytes towards air pollution increased from terricolous to saxicolous and corticolous species. The most protonema is more sensitive than its mature gametophore. So, Basically, air pollution inhibits gametangel formation and sexual reproduction in bryophytes. There are also reduced photosynthesis by degrading chlorophyll and growth of plant and eventually cause their death. Metal and metalloid are accumulated by bryophytes from the substratum. Wind blown and wet deposition, when the metal enters the cell, it inhibits the photosynthetic activity. Acidification may damage cell membrane solubilize potentially toxic metals like aluminum 3 and worsen the impact of other pollutants like sulfur dioxide so aquatic bryophytes accumulate heavy metal from contaminated water to a much great extent than vascular plant act as the metal uptake is less seasonal indicator of soil ph indicator of acid rain so liverwort and mosses are good indicator of soil ph some bryophytes can grow in narrow and specific range of ph so therefore their presence can be used as an indicator of soil ph for example Campylophus paradisicus and indicator of acid rain. So, mosses are good indicator of acid rain because they lack a protective epidermis and cuticle, hence, so are more susceptible than vascular plants. So, for example, naked era indicates high pH as a like of pH. So, bryophytes growing on stone walls can tolerate higher level of pollution than those of tree trunks. So, in case of epiphyte species growing on tree base can cope with the pollution in the condition better than those of tree trunks. Shady and alkaline nikki are more preferred by bryophytes. Ecological uses so liverworts and mosses have been found to be good indicator of environmental condition for the first time in the theory of forest type in Finland uses terrestrial bryophytes as one of the characteristics planting in classifying forest type. So their value as an indicator of certain forest habitat. Uh, and the occurrence of this type of certain aquatic mosses could be correlated with the calcium and nutrient con contents in the water. So it founded that uh, bryophytes indicate the condition of pH and water level in peatlands. Besides above mentioning uses of bryophytes, there are lots of uses related to environment such as as it's in uh, soil conservation, formation of soil development, vegetation cover and bog succession role as a rope builder so and it's in soil conservation so 